beginning, this opening stage as we transition into 8-8, this Lionsgate portal. And I did a little research on it and it's quite, it's, it's quite interesting. Some people, I've read a couple of things where people say, oh, it's, um, <clears throat> it's not, it's kind of a, a bit of a cliche, like it's become a catchword and a marketing tool. Um, but there are a lot of people that go back and with the numbers and, and really look at this as an excellent opportunity to like manifest that it's an opening in this 8-8 portal. But you know what? My take on it is this. Anything that gets us focused to take a moment to breathe, to think about what we want to manifest, to send that message out to the universe, whether it's 8788 or, you know, 1021, like it doesn't, it's, it's beautiful. And so I don't know a ton about um, astrology. That's not my, my jam, but I think what an opportunity for us to come together and use this day to use this opportunity to think about what our intentions are going forward, what seeds we would like to plant. We're about to come into that fall equinox where we come back into balance um, day and night, and then we transition into the darkness. So maybe a little celebration for all that you've achieved and thoughts on what you would like, manifestations you'd like to send out to the universe. So let's just take it at that, an opportunity to tune into the music and perhaps give yourself some time to ponder or send those wishes out to the world. Okay, go ahead and close your eyes. And as said, if you are uh, have the opportunity to use earbuds or an external speaker, that would be fabulous. And if not, don't worry, you should get some pretty good sound. Taking that opportunity to close the eyes. Relaxing, you're breathing. And as you're breathing, it's like you're bringing your attention to your forehead. And on the exhale, release. It's like a cool breeze, a cool breath of air is just kind of blowing and flowing on the face so we can release tension. You take another breath in and you must feel it in the cheeks or in the lips. And on the release, maybe sighing it out, ah, and letting go of any other tension in the face from the jaw and the chin, and let it flow down into the throat. Breathe again into the top of the chest, feeling it rise, expansive. Maybe take an extra sip through rounded lips. And then slowly releasing out of those rounded lips. Let any tension be released from the shoulders. Down the elbows. And the palms of the hands. Right down to the fingertips. And the next breath in, upper back. And as you release, feel your back let go from the top to the middle, to the lower back, and to the buttocks. Feel the connection. And then I want you to breathe right into your belly. Fill it up. Big Buddha belly. And then let it go down deeper into the pelvis, up and over the thighs, down into the knees, into the calves, down into the ankles. into the soles of the feet. And then just take a deep inhale right into your heart space. Expand again. 
filling the body up with fresh prana, visualizing that like white golden light. And when you release, you release your body in its entirety. And it's here that I invite you to connect with the root at the base of the spine. I want you to visualize that you are sending a root down through the mat, through the floor, into the earth. And you're going to take that root and you're going to drive it through the sand and dirt and grasses and roots of other plants, of other trees, through the mycelium. You're going to start to feel into the pull of gravity, the pull of Mother Earth, deep in the center of the planet. I'm going to reach down with that root. And we're going to connect our root to the center. And we take a deep inhale. And we release love and gratitude into that connection. And we let ourselves be held. connected through this root. We just bring our awareness to our bodies, to our minds. Anything that's bothering us, anything that's heavy. And I want you to focus on it. Bring it to attention. Is there something holding you back physically, mentally? of this session. It's just handed off to those who are there to help you. And in its place, we bring in love and healing light. Place of peace, and we let. 
let the vibrations heal, calm, and elevate us.
was that you handed up the gods, your guide, your angels to be cleared. Just visualize that it's dissipated like that last big wave. Let it go. stepping through a gate or a portal. Allow yourself to explore and plant the seeds that you want to plant for manifestation. What is it to grow? What part of you would you like to see thriving? Maybe pick those seeds from the stars and plant them in your garden.
deeper space. What is it that you need to know today? your message I'm sending out a little gratitude for your beautiful team of guides and all of those who look out for us every minute of every day make our way back to the gate, the door, the portal, in that flow, in that ease, pain free, mind clear and calm, heart at peace. We come back to this where we're connected with our roots deeply. Connected to Mother Earth and we breathe. And release on the exhale. I want you to just visualize a beautiful healing light, a cool healing rain, simply washing over you, letting you to let go of any worries or concerns. I want you to be able to take this clear and light feeling 
out with you for the rest of your day. So just let go and let this come in. You should just take a nice long deep inhale and let go. Bring your attention finally to your heart space. And visualize just a light, a little fire or candlelight, soul light. And every time you breathe, it expands. The light shines brighter, shining all through your heart space. take a few more breaths, it starts to expand, illuminating up through the throat and up into the head, lighting up the torso and the arms and the toes down to the legs, the feet. contains this light for a moment. But on the next inhale, I want you to hold it for a moment and realize that nothing can hold your light and your energy and your frequency. And on the exhale, just let it shine. Let it radiate out, radiate out into the room, into your field brilliant you and your individuated divinity. And just breathe in, watch it pulse and flow.
leave it that way. Nothing can contain your light and nothing should. Take a minute of silence just so you can be in your breath and in your light. A nice long deep inhale, great big sigh, you may want to rub your palms together to ground, maybe the feet, I played a lot of gong at the beginning, but if you're rubbing your hands together, keep your eyes closed for a moment, this feels so nice, I remember the first time someone taught me to do this, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. So you rub your hands until they get really nice and hot and then you place your palms over your eyes and you let your eyes feel into the warmth you breathe once or twice and then you slowly start to flicker your eyelids open into the palms of your hands and just a little light gets in you start to become accustomed and then you slowly start to move your hands away from your eyes. That's still my favorite way to kind of wake up. And you bring the rest of the world back into focus. Sat Nam. Thank you for joining me. I will edit it and post it. Um, a little bit later uh, so if you want to rewatch it I thank you so much um, for joining me tonight it's beautiful I'll be back every Monday through August so um, you know if you have any special requests things you want to work on let me know otherwise we'll just keep getting creative and tapping into what's happening in the world today <laughs>